Hey guys, so what I have picked up, and a few people have also mentioned it, um, these stickers do not actually fit properly on here. As you guys can see, there will be a gap if you stick that side and that side. So what I am going to do is maybe just cut through the middle, place the side and place that side. Hopefully that does work. Um, but as you guys can see, if you put it like this, it kind of loops in the middle. I'm also going to put it as close as possible to the rim so that it doesn't actually touch um, this video. This tie lettering, however, is extremely thin. I doubt it was, is going to last long. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, mine is kind of thick. Um, I do have mine a few years now. I uh, am planning on changing mine, but I would like something much thicker than these ones. So I'm just gonna see how these actually stick and I'll, um, then I'll just see if they do stick well, then I'll maybe go with these. If not, I do like the thicker ones. process it takes to actually uh, do the tie lettering so um, I, let me just show you what I kind of did so basically I had to cut up uh, one by one so what I done was I cut this in the middle of here tape it up over there um, then I just glued on the side paste it down and then peel it off and then just glue on the side of here uh, this however is extremely thin it even feels like a piece of paper I wouldn't recommend uh, anyone actually using these I'm not quite sure how these are going to how long it's going to last it does kind of look good though um, but I'll just get his feedback as to how long it's going to last everything does seem intact so yeah, if you are doing some type of budget build, uh, I would recommend these. Uh, I don't think they go for much. Um, but yeah, this is basically a DIY video also to show you guys how to actually do this. Like I mentioned before, this tire lettering does not actually match this tire. But I show you guys uh, a different way of actually doing it without um, the the tie lettering actually matching the tire. Once you have done the top section over here, um, I would advise you guys just to basically put um, a piece of marking tape across over here, as you can see right there. And then you just measure uh, the middle between this and then it should basically match this. I wouldn't recommend you guys um, glue this here. What I've done is, as I mentioned before, these um, the tire lettering does not actually match uh, the tire so I had to cut them up one by one so I just tape basically the top section over there and then I just lift this up over here glue a little tape it down lift it up glue a little tape it down and then I just continue and then once it's glued at the bottom I pull off the tape on top and then just glue the tape on top as you guys can see the top does match the bottom as well so seeing that it does uh, match the bottom I'm going to 
just glue it and then continue um, gluing the rest of the tire lettering. Okay guys, so this is the end result, uh, it came out really good, as you guys can see, lines up correctly, so I'm happy with the outcome, um, it is uh, fast 8, so I'm going to just speed up the process, maybe just put you guys up in the time lapse, I still do need to do the two uh, passenger side tyres as well. So yeah, hopefully I'm going to be able to finish it today. Um, like I mentioned, I'm not going to basically explain anymore. As you guys know, I have done a short tutorial on actually how to do this right now. So the next two tires, I'll just basically put you guys up on the time lapse and I'll show you guys uh, the final outcome once all the tires is on the car as well. Hope you guys like the outcome. about half past nine past nine basically so this is the last tire uh, managed to finish everything today as well as uh, the windscreen is done as well the even new windscreen on unfortunately I won't be able to uh, uh, oh, I won't be able to show you guys a, a better picture in the daylight uh, because I will be dropping the car right now so unfortunately I won't be able to show you guys what it looks like in the day however maybe I'll just put up a few pictures so like I was saying I'm unable to show you guys in the daylight because I won't have the car in the daylight however uh, I hope this picture does tire um, detail justice um, let me just show you guys as well um, these are wide I think these are basically uh, 9J if I'm not mistaken so it kind of stands a lot out um, and you can see right here there's it's not flush or anything actually poking out 
Um, I would say it's poking out too much for my liking. And yeah, this is the outcome. Hope you guys like it. Um, see you guys next time. Peace.